Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between that, and most importantly, our investors. I wanted to open this video up with an important announcement regarding the future of the brand of the Savarino channel. See, for too long, this channel has been plagued by the weird, recognizable, unique, and let's be honest, horrifically hideous face plastered all over the profile picture and branding of Savarino. And so today, my dear ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between that and investors, I've come to announce the new and improved branding for the Savarino channel. Today, I'd like to announce for all of you, S. We at the Savarino brand, or as we like to call it now, S, wanted to cut out the middleman of creativity and the human touch to allow AI, artificial intelligence, or as we like to call it here at the brand, Daddy, to bend us backwards and create a logo that has absolutely zero life to it whatsoever. Also, in an effort to match the modern day of branding that many companies have been adopting, we wanted to move away from the recognizable colors of pink, blue, and orange to a more sleek, modern, and completely lifeless black and white. We at S are excited for the future of this brand, and we appreciate any input whatsoever as long as it's positive. And if you have any negative input, don't worry, we'll completely ignore you unless you pay us money. Thank you for your time, and always remember, we don't care. Hi, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between that, and welcome on into another Savarino video, and I'm overheating. Get this shit off me! Get it off! Hi. Branding companies, they make good decisions all the time, right? That happens. <laughs> Right? The answer is no. That's why I'm making this video and also why there was a satirical bit to open this video up. We're going to talk about a few different things today. R r r r Let's try that again. Ranging from logo rebranding to artificial intelligence, all within, within marketing that's been happening with companies recently that has made me get a little bit of acid reflux. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. See, the biggest one that's been on my mind is a rebranding that recently happened for the car company Jaguar. You guys know Jaguar? Y y probably not. It's a British company. My bad. British company. And it, they recently had a rebranding because you, you can see the logo. There's the logo. Look at it. That's hideous, right? That looks horrible. Like, a, a sleek Jaguar moving forward like a fast car? That looks disgusting. Clearly, they needed to rebrand. And so they did. They recently changed their logo to, um... <laughs> so the CEO of Jaguar and Land Rover, Gary McGovern, came forward actually making a statement about the reasoning behind this rebrand. And I want to just read his quote really quickly because it truly captures why. It makes a lot of sense to me. It made truly, it, I, I understand now. Um, it recaptures the essence of Jaguar, returning to its values that once made it so loved, but making it relevant for a contemporary audience. Also known as fucking writing it down. Like, you just put a Google, you just screenshotted a Google Doc of typing out your name with a silly font. You Mr. Beastified your goddamn logo. <laughs> like, that's not even a logo! That's a name! They made a name. And so, this is the future of Jaguar, and with this future, they actually released a trailer, an interesting trailer, that I wanted to give a quick watch for. And keep in mind, this is for a car company. Let, let's just, let's just give it a quick watch, and I'll be up in the corner here, so I'll re YouTube reactor mode. Create exuberant. Live vivid. Delete ordinary. Not sure why you spelled mold like that. Copied nothing. Jaguar. Now, can someone tell me why the A and the R are lowercase, but the J, the G, and the U are not? Can we can we answer that? Can we answer that real quick? Jaguar, keep in mind, by the way, this is for a British car company. There was <laughs> there was not a single car or even a hint at the car in the video. I actually saw this rock that they sat on and initially thought, oh, is that car shaped? And then realized, no, it's a pink rock on what looks like a pink Mars. Mars, if it was pink. Um... <laughs> It's a car company, by the way. And see, the problem is people have been getting mad about this trailer. Excuse me. Don't want to hang myself by mistake. People have been getting mad at this trailer for all the wrong reasons. I've seen people on the internet get mad at it for, like, it being woke, which confuses me. There's a lot of reasons you can get mad at Jaguar and that branding. Maybe one being it looks like shit. Where, where, where did woke come from? Is it because they're wearing pretty colors? I didn't realize that the uh, opposite of woke was wearing, what, leather? Wear leather. Leather and jeans, and if you're wearing anything else, you're a woke freak, okay? <laughs> what is going on? We are, we've lost the plot. And of course, since Jaguar came out with one of the worst branding updates in the history of branding, aside from that one time that Firefox decided to turn their fox into uh, uh, a circle, <laughs> but 
there was one of the worst updates in branding in history, and of course, Coca-Cola saw this and thought, oh, I have an idea. I, I can do better. Worse. I can do be worse better. And they did. By releasing a trailer that was a new and modernized version of their original classic Coca-Cola Holidays trailer. And quickly, let's look at the original trailer. Just give a quick view of it. This is a classic one. It's, it's historical. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, they're so... Oh, my... The holidays are coming. The holidays are coming. You hear that? It's the season. The holidays are coming. And, and it just, it's coming to your town in the holidays. They're, they're coming to your town in the holidays. And so recently Coca-Cola thought, oh, I have an idea. What if we made that, but made it bad? <laughs> and they released a trailer that is a modern day remake of that, except instead of putting out the extra maybe hundred thousand dollars of a budget to make a commercial like that and just have a few coke trucks with christmas lights on them they thought they would hire ai <laughs> they made an ai trailer let's give this one a quick view we'll go all the way through this one purely because i am a sadist beautiful oh my god is the hol is it the holidays are coming oh wow oh my god it looks absolutely awful <laughs> Oh my god. Is that a gingerbread house? It doesn't matter. I'm so- wait, I'm sorry. Was that car a train? What is this? What is this? What is that? Doesn't matter. Holidays are coming. This looks horrible. That looks awful. <laughs> it looks like they took a PNG of a truck and put it on a moving background. That might look worse than the Minecraft movie trailer. Might look, it looks worse than the Minecraft movie. L let's be real. Oh my god, the holidays are coming! What's his tail doing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no! They done conjoined twins, my squirrels! Oh. Okay, actually, I need to go back. I was in the way of that one. You need to see this. So we have this very snow-looking snowman, but then we move up to his face and have the frosty, the snowman level animation. That's great. I like the tis the season, it's always the real thing while creating a trailer with absolutely nothing real in it whatsoever. I low-key thought they were going to nuke the town made of AI. I'm sorry. <laughs> are they in China? <laughs> what? The holidays are actually not coming over there right now. It's um, it's summertime. But uh, why did they cake the fuck up these polar bears? <laughs> Unrelated, but let's continue. Not a single car on that road was following any road laws. Why are you on the sidewalk? <laughs> what are you doing? What the fuck? Wait, hold on, hold on. What direction is Santa Slay going in right here? Like, you see, you see the pixels coming off of it? Is he flying away or forward? Real magic. Real magic. Um, I might have missed the real part, I guess. But of course, unlike the Jaguar update, which has absolutely nothing to talk about whatsoever, they literally just typed into a Google Doc file and then hit the screenshot button. This has a bit of lore behind it. This was created by a brand called Silverside AI. It was actually posted, I found it through Chris Barber, who is a member of Silverside AI, but it's a brand that essentially just, it, it, let's read the description. An AI innovation lab helping the world's best brands revolutionize their marketing ecosystem. And by revolutionize, of course, they mean doing the exact same thing I do whenever I I have a project in school that I don't feel like doing. <laughs> you slap that bitch in chat GPT, baby. However, something that got my noggin itching when I first saw this trailer was how is Coca-Cola gonna claim this video? Like, you can't copyright claim AI. There are laws put against this. There was a website I saw that talks about the fact that in the US, the copyright office guidance states that working co containing AI generated content is not copyrightable without evidence that a human author contributed creatively. And while this was made by a human company, the silver side, it's not an art company. It's an AI company. So it's not really like art at all. Like, I know people will argue that AI can be used kind of like a paintbrush. It's a tool! It's a tool to create art. If you didn't know how to make art and then you had the art make itself for you. And so, I'm really curious as to how Coca-Cola is going to move forward and how other brands are going to move forward with this, because you could very easily just- t I could take this and be like, I made this. That's my trailer. 
That's mine. I, I, except I wouldn't, because I have a, a really rare trait in modern day called dignity. However, people on the internet have already been taking advantage of this. I saw one video posted online on Reddit where someone, uh, they remade the trailer. They redid it. They, it, a 15 second little snippet. But I would argue in those 15 seconds, they fixed it. They truly, I would say they healed it. They healed it. Let's give it a quick watch, all right? Let's check this out. No. Oh, Santa. Oh, don't do that. Holy shit, they Oppenheimered the poor thing. Yeah, um, don't worry. You're allowed to applaud. I just find it so inspiring, man. The modern day of marketing truly is a wonder. Seeing the companies that make millions of dollars every single day and have the capacity to fund art, a form that we as a species have been crafting and refining for thousands of years. And honestly, just kind of tell it to fuck off. Just tell it to go away. Because honestly, companies as a whole have always been flawless at making good decisions. Remember a few years ago when a company, uh, the Peanuts company, decided to kill off Mr. Peanut in a horrific explosion accident, uh, and then months later went back on it because then Kobe uh, died in a horrific explosion accident? That's crazy. I love when companies do things that are good and also uh, not bad. <laughs> good, but also not bad. God, dude, I'm so incredibly art, 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 articulate. Holy shit. Wow. But that's about it. That's all I really wanted to talk about today. I thought this was absolutely horrific, and I want to hear your thoughts about it in the comments down below. And also, maybe get some rebranding down there. Let me see some good rebranded profile pictures that fit the community of S. And of course, with this rebranding of S, I'm going to be rebranding the outro as well. So thank you guys for being here. And as always, bye.